The uh, committee uh, will come uh, to order. Uh, welcome uh, to today's hearing uh, on oversight uh, of the United States uh, Postal Service. And I want to take a moment to uh, thank our witnesses uh, for being here today. Uh, this um, panel includes executives from each uh, governing body that helps govern and oversee the Postal Service. And each of them were, will offer a valuable uh, insight uh, here today. The Postal Service offers a critical public service. Postal workers deliver every day to keep our communities connected. As the only carrier that reaches every address in the nation, the Postal Service ensures that Americans everywhere can stay in touch, receive goods, and more no matter where they live. This committee has jurisdiction over the Postal Service and we have the responsibility to examine this agency's work to ensure it effectively is serving the American people and that's why we're here today. This hearing comes at a critical time for the Postal Service. Two years ago, I led the passage of the Bipartisan Postal Service Reform Act, the first major reform to the Postal Service in over 15 years. This legislation set the agency on a more stable financial footing and provided critical transparency on local service to the public. This legislation has eliminated unfair financial burdens that have long undermined the Postal Service and in total will provide $50 billion in financial relief over the next 10 years. The intent of this law was to help ensure the Postal Service can keep reliably serving all communities. Two years later, the Postal Service is implementing this legislation, including helping postal employees and retirees integrate their health care with Medicare. But the agency has also taken a series of changes on its own, reforms that it claims to help save money, and to improve operations. Uh, these operational changes appear to be significant. The Postal Service plans to make changes to its processing and delivery network across the country. It plans to consolidate facilities into larger, more centralized hubs and reduce the number of times that mail is collected at facilities each day. In some communities, uh, these changes have unfortunately disrupted or caused declines in services. I uh, remain concerned about these changes. There is no clear evidence uh, show that shows these changes will improve service in the long run. And when I have asked the Postal Service for detailed studies, uh, it has not been provided to me. The Postal Service has even said it must execute more changes uh, before studying their impacts, essentially plowing ahead without knowing whether service uh, will be harmed. It is also not clear these changes will actually save money. We know these changes led to increased cost at one facility, and the Postal Service has not been transparent about their overall cost projections. So far, these changes appear to be moving in the wrong direction. Service is down, cost is up, and customers are being let down. I've called on the Postal Service to pause these changes until it can show they won't undermine the agency's primary responsibility to provide timely and reliable service to the community. Before moving Further, the Postal Service must study the locations that have been altered so far, investigate the root causes of disruptions, restore normal service, and understand the long-term implications of this plan. If the Postal Service continues moving forward at this drastic pace without studying the impacts, they will harm service and drive customers nationwide. The Postal Service must continue adapting to ensure it's consistently improving service, but it needs to proceed with caution to ensure it protects on-time delivery for the communities who rely on the Postal Service each and every day. This committee is, uh, uh, is uh, committed to conducting oversight to hold the Postal Service to this mission, and I look forward to the witnesses addressing the concerns uh, that I have raised here today. Uh, I look forward to, to working to improve the health of the Postal Service and to make sure that we protect this vital and critical institution. 